So in previous years, there's been some confusion between really structural formulas and Lewis dot structures. So if we take something simple like water, well, structural formula water is this. The Lewis dot structure for water would be this. Now, really what I'm comfortable with you using is a hybrid of the two. And really, it's really just the Lewis dot structure. But instead of representing bonds as pairs of electrons, what you can do is represent water with the lines representing the bonded pairs and the lone pairs still there as, the, as themselves. So really what you're doing is replacing the dots of a bonded pair with a line. It just makes the drawing a little bit cleaner. Right, so instead, another example would be if I had something like uh, formaldehyde which is this. This is the Lewis dot structure for formaldehyde. But really, the way I would like you to draw it would be this. You're still representing the lone pairs. You're still rep and you're representing the bonded pairs, but instead of representing them by dots, you're now representing them by lines. You can draw the Lewis structures with the dots if you'd like, if you're more comfortable with that. But really, this hybrid way of putting the two together is probably for the best. Now, I just wanted to walk you through some rules for drawing Lewis structures. And if you're comfortable drawing them, feel free just to, to go through this part quickly. But your first step is to draw the Lewis symbol symbols for each atom present. So the way the reason you do this is this lets you know how many bonds to make. Okay. The second step which is to connect the atoms that want to bond the most. So really you're, you're going to look to connect. If you have carbon involved, carbon has to be in the middle. Carbon can never be on the outside of a molecule because it can never make four bonds. So you want carbon to be on the inside somewhere. So that's a good place to start. Um, nitrogen tends to be on the inside too. Oxygen sometimes can be on the outside, like in CO2. Sometimes can be on the inside, like for ethanol. So you connect the atoms that want to bond the most first. Three. Connect the other atoms. And then four, check your octets. So if your octets aren't filled after you've connected all the atoms, well, then you need to go back and if the octet isn't satisfied, sorry, I have a hard time writing this low on the board, octets not satisfied, add double or triple bonds. So this can be an iterative process, which means you might try it one way, not have it work, start again, do it another way, have it work. So let's try an example. So let's do... What do I want to do? C H four C 
P2H4O. Okay. Now it turns out there are a couple ways you can draw this. So I'm just going to check my, let's see, so we have carbon, carbon, oxygen, and then four hydrogens. All right, so that was step one. Step two, connect the atoms that want to bond the most. So those are the two carbons. All right, so that's my, my shell, my backbone. All right, so now let's connect the rest. Doo -doo -doo. Now I'll put this one here and here. And I'm just going to have to go over. I'm going to have to go over again. So if I draw this out, and this is what I get. Uh, let's see. So I have C and H and then C. I have an H here, an H here, I have an O, an H. All right, let's draw this so it's easier to see with that hybrid method I was telling you about. That shows the lone pairs and. Okay. Well, now if I check my octets. Well, so the oxygen has eight, so that's good. Carbon has eight, this is good. Uh-oh, this carbon, though, only has six. So that's not right. Crap. It means I have to go back. Well, let's erase some of this stuff. Something did not work right, and I think it's that I have to make a double bond somewhere. All right, so let's try again. Connect the ones that want to bond the most. Then connect the oxygen here. Now what would be a good thing to do here is count your lonely electrons. Well, one, two, three on the carbon on the left, two on the carbon on the middle, and one on the oxygen on the right. I only have four hydrogens to do that. Hmm. Let's see what happens if... I make a double bond here. Okay, so now I have three lonely electrons on the carbon on the left, one lonely electron on the carbon there in the middle. So let's connect. And you can already see that all your lonely electrons are paired up. So this is probably going to work out A-OK. -okay. So C, C, O taking some liberties here. I'm not drawing the, the dots in. All right. Now remember, each of these sticks represents two valence electrons because it's a covalent bond. So if I circle each of my center atoms and my outside atom, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, two, four, s five, six, seven, eight. They all have eight valence electrons. Now, you also could have done it by double bonding the two carbons and having a single bonded with the oxygen and then another hydrogen coming off. So there are multiple ways you could have put it together. But I'm hoping this showed you the thought process of how to put together a Lewis structure.